Hey everyone, today I want to do something different. My opera videos have a lot of views, so I know that there is a lot of you sopranos out there who would like to sing some more arias. And today I want to help you with an aria that is in the Trittico. The Trittico is like a three opera, three one act operas. And one of them is Gianni Schicchi, funny name, and also funny opera. And the very famous aria that Lauretta sings in that one is O Mio Babino Caro. I'm gonna leave a link below this video where you can find a wonderful tutorial on how to do correct Italian diction on this specific aria. So please check it out before you do this because we're gonna dive right into the music. So let me just set it up a little bit. This is Lauretta, a young girl, and the intro for this aria reflects the agitation that is happening right before she starts singing. And she tells her dad, basically, Dad, if you're not gonna let me marry Rinuccio, or the name is not in the aria, but if you're not gonna let me marry this young man, I'm gonna throw myself into the Arno River, which is a river that flows through the city of Pisa. So we're gonna start and the intro is already your cue to get all agitated, but then of course, Loretta has a trick up her sleeve and begs her daddy, daddy, sweet little daddy, please, 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 pretty, please, are you gonna let me marry my little young man there? So let's get started here. Babino caro, nice double B here, but you want to start very sweet and the first pitch is always the hardest. What I want you to do is really make sure you have good posture, lifted chest, and then prepare. That is the most important thing to prepare for the first pitch. So it's really make sure you have openness before the pitch starts. Everything needs to be in place. Soft palate is lifted. Pharynx is wide open and you have a nice high placement on the O. It's like, oh mio. Don't forget to include your lips and don't forget to think tone very much forward. You need to think up and forward. So don't go, oh mio papi. Don't cover with your upper lip. You want to make sure, oh mio papi. Oh, oh. Covered. Oh, mio papi, no caro. And there's always a little bit of portamento. This is very much the bel canto area here. And this is a little later, actually. But you want to include a very flowy, flowy kind of phrasing here. And the way we do that is by doing a little bit of portamento. Now, portamento, again, to remind you, it really moves at the speed of your vibrato. Oh, mio papino, pino. See how I'm just taking it back. Caro, mi piace. And on the mi piace, again, nice deep breath because we're about to have a high pitch that we need to work. Really, it doesn't stay there statically. Mi piace, bello. So you want to make sure you're starting the pitch and you don't stay static. Mi piace bello, bello. That would be not the way we want to do it. So one more time, just the mi piace bello. Mi piace bello. Make sure you have 
all of the vowels in there. Vuandare in porta rossa and shape those vowels and bring in those portamentos, those little ones. I like them a lot in there. And there's a lot of different ways to do it, but Vuandare in porta rossa. You, you want to just do a slight portamento. You don't want it to be very obvious, but you want it to connect so much through the phrase. And then let's go on for the a comparar. And what I always like to do is taper it off. You don't want to stay on the pitch. You don't want to do that. You want to shape it. And connect it to that rest that is coming up. So the next phrase is si si ci voglio andare. So it's like yes yes I'm gonna want to go there. Okay so the si si needs to be really like you have the freedom in opera to express voice colors and to let in a little bit of si si ci voglio andare. You want to express it's drama here, high drama. Okay, so let's do the si si. Si si, ci voglio andare. Okay, here, the andare is really hard. For me, it's kind of in an area where I have to decide, do I want to sing it more in chest voice or do I want to sing it in head voice, it, in all the way tilted? It's hard. Ci voglio andare. It's really hard. I would have to dig in and darken my voice too much. If I actually switch over to be a little bit more in chest mechanism, but at the same time, try not to darken it too much, that gives me kind of the sound that I want. Ci voglio andare. You don't want to go too dark and too heavy. Ci voglio andare. This is my chest voice. That sounds a little bit more like head voice. Not like this and not like this. Okay, you get it? Ci voglio andare. Let's go on. E se la massindarno? E se la Like in the beginning, you want to really carefully approach that top. You don't want to really aim for it. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to just kind of aggressively get on there. Very carefully, very supported. You want to make that a little heavier. And then the E. It is a closed vowel, but you want to make it nice and open. Relax your jaw, very important. I like the top notes floaty. It's a matter of taste, but I like it that way because it does reflect the young Lauretta on how she's kind of playing with her dad a little bit. Okay, so let's go on to the Andrei sul Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio is, of course, the Ponte Vecchio. It's that, you know, very famous. Andrei sul Ponte Vecchio, ma per buttarmi in porto. Okay, here, here she's talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna throw myself into the river if you're not gonna let me. So give it some drama. It's like Andrei su ponte vecchio. Lift. I like the lift there. And then kind of switch over. Ma per buttare. And make sure like there's 20 T's in there. Nice and short. Ooh. Ma per buttare minarno. It makes it more dramatic. And all the while, 
shaping those nice big vowels and always making sure you have lots of resonance. You can tr really experiment. Ma, 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 ma. When you're too breathy, it's hard. So you don't want to get too breathy. You want to brilliance. Ma, perbu, After this, mi strogo imito, mi strogo imi tormento. Oddio! And you want to actually make it a double D. Oddio! It's like more dramatic. It's like, oh my god! Okay? Mi strogo imi tormento. to listen to your accompanist he has the moving parts and you have a holding part so you want to basically listen to dio is on d e e e e e e e e e e e o that's when your o comes in it's one note for you but it's you've changed to the o on the end there Okay, I was off there. See, it's really hard. It's really tricky. I suggest you listen to the accompaniment really well. And it's piano is so much easier than the orchestra. It's so much harder to hear in the orchestra when it's strings. So after the odio, the odio is like really hard. You want to shape it. It's a long pitch and you don't want to be forte. You want to be soft. It's really hard. So, but that's when you can really practice the inhalare la voce, the inhaling of the voice. It, it's almost a feeling like you're sucking in the air instead of blowing it out. It's so little because vocal cords are so tightly closed and you're only pushing through very little air, but with high pressure. It's like blowing through a very thin straw. So, and then afterwards comes the vorrei morir. And then the babbo pietà, pietà. And she says, daddy, please, please. So you, I like it when there's a lift. Don't just plow through there. You want to make a lift and really shape the phrasing. tension until the last note is gone. <laughs> Hold it for just a second. So let's talk about the babo pieta. The first one goes very high and you want to make sure it's sweet. It always needs to stay sweet. Babo pieta. Deep breath and now really rock hard, solid support, nice posture. Pieta. So you want to really, I don't know, for me, I can't really, I can't really shape the e too much. I really come in on the e more than on an e, so I don't really think pieta too much. I don't know for me personally, it would be better actually. But then I break, so for me I'm kind of cheating it a little bit by. 
but you want to make sure you don't go and then taper off. This is a great exercise for inhalar a la bocha and a lot of compression. And the last one. And then nice out of that last breath, do the pieta. And taper it off. I don't know, it's much easier when there's actually the piano playing. And the tapering off is really important in order to shape the phrases here. I can't pronounce it enough. You don't want to stay static. You want always the music to go somewhere. You always think ahead of time. You, you think through the phrase. You already know where you want to go. And then you shape it accord, accordingly. And you also economize your air accordingly. The most important principle here is really to stay in this very lifted position and to use your diaphragm. Always expand as you're inhaling. Lots of expansion as you're inhaling. I hope you could see this the whole time. And to not compromise your posture. As soon as you collapse, you're going to have less support and you're not, not going to be able to float those high notes. So thank you so much for watching today. We're going to make a video where we actually sing the whole aria without any interruptions. The link is below. Thank you for watching. Join my Facebook group if you have not already. The link is also below. It's called Master Your Voice. And check out my website at masteryourvoice.tv to find a lot of great free resources. See you soon and always keep on singing.